And hello, hello everyone, welcome back, Bogmart here, playing one of the Legend of Heroes Trails from Zero. And it's time to go kill that fat bat, the Megalobat. Hey buddy. Look at how fat that bat is. We're gonna battle scope this bat. Tell me your secrets, bat. Became fat from sucking too much blood. Use this weight to fight. Okay. 1600, not bad. Ooh, critical. I should have done something different. Oh, well, that's fine. And then we're going to steal the critical. Yeah. We can take out three of them. Let's take out this side. Crimson Gear. And good old wave motion gun, because that's what you give a 14 year old. There we are. One dead giant bat. There we are. We killed the monster. Good work, everybody. We push over compared to those, the one Arios took down. Yeah, as long as we work together, there's nothing we can't overcome. Alright, and he, she deactivated the lock for us. So now we can just... That one's still... That one can't be used, but that's okay. And we're right at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Actually, I have a better idea. <gasps> Hello? Lloyd Bannings with the special support section speaking. Chief Sergei. Yeah, we just killed the monster. Uh, just exit the geo front. Investigate something immediately. Drop your support quest. Make it your top priority. Uh, for downtown district on the double. Uh, two delinquent gangs have been added to the search. We're about to start a brawl. Stop them before there's trouble. Alright. It's still police work, Lloyd. Hmm. Uh, serious Aston is doing. Yeah, the liquid gangs that we gotta smash. Two rival gangs who claim the chicken the turn. Saber Vipers and the Testaments. But first things first. We kill the bat! Yeah. We got promoted, Detective 14th class! And we got a reward. Thank you!
I have a little more cash, which we do want to put to use. I'd like a couple more of these. And a couple more of these. All right. <clears throat> Look over there. Yeah, things are getting heated. Hey, you blue bastards. Act no smug. We're going to put you right where you belong. In the dirt. Ha! You dear bugs. We've been getting on our heads for far too long. Pretty ballsy of you to pull this underhanded crap on us. Hmm. This is precisely why you Neanderthals are so annoying. You need to rely on underhanded tactics to care of hoodlums like you. And, and besides, you are the ones who sent one of our men to the hospital. What's the saying? An eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth? You better prepare yourself because we're going to pass judgment on you. Fine by us, you blue bastards. Well, this need a beer for us to kick your asses. You took the words right out of my mouth. Wazi's presence is unnecessary for us to take out trash like you. Prepare for the crusade, everyone. It's time we eliminate these saber viper scum. Hold it. The hell? Mm, I've never seen any of you before. We're just here. Cease your fighting immediately. Your thoughtless actions are causing a disturbance for all the residents living here. Eh? Who do you think you are? Do coming out of nowhere and buzzing us around. And we proceed. Well, we're going to use a detective notebook. Behold, we're the cops! Mm. Uh, you police officers. Ha! Ain't no way in hell. Mm, there's no way the police wouldn't respond to a request like that. They never come here. We're going to lie. At least come up with a better one than that. We're serious, guys. Don't be mean. And you're disturbing the other residents. Yeah, take it, the fight outside the city. Oh, they're so mean. Their own code to follow. Apparently their own code to follow is to beat us to death with sticks and knives. Well, the conclusion to the situation. Oh, did I remember to heal? I did. Good. But I forgot to do the other thing. Which was go use the beds. I believe the beds back at the SSS will restore our CP. This isn't the time to be hitting on women. And one of them's 14. So they're going to kill us first and then kill each other. I'm glad we could bring them together like this. I do want the Sabbath. Alright. Um... Tell me your secrets. Saber Viper Knife. Remember the Saber Viper Knife. Stun Knife. So everyone gets close to the bat covered in nails. Ground with an iron pipe. And then we've got lots of ammo. Fancy ammo.
Oh no, you've made me angry. There we are. Damn, these guys are no amateurs. Those two bushes. I thought they were just arm candy. What's with the style? That thing nearly fried me. What the hell? Stop screwing with us. You guys are really braces, aren't you? I told you, we're cops. Man, people have really just all trusted the police. They're not playing us. This time you're all dead. Let's do this, men. Let's show them the true power of the testaments, even if they are braces. What the absolute hell do you think you're doing? Mm, I think you've all done quite enough. Now the big bosses arrive. What? Wazi! So Wazi, as I recall, is 17. I think this guy's 20. Mm, how do we put this? I uh, wanted to teach the Blue Bastards a lesson. Then these guys came out of nowhere and interrupted a fight. <gasps> now I tell you, he's a damn head of yours before you start shit. I piss all over my reputation by taking up fights in public, is that it? No, sir, not all. <laughs> now, what do you have to say for yourselves? Are you not capable of following my orders? <gasps> no, hold on. They, they were taunting us. Large bald man. Now, I'm happy with most of the sprites, uh, little character models that they use. I just don't think it works for his. His face is too weird. <laughs> Bunch of freaking weirdos. Making your men dress up in those creepy ass threads, you think you're a cult leader or something? I didn't force you to wear these garments. They just all happen to wear them conveniently on their own. Let's put these two. What poor man to deal with? Show him look at the part. Speaking of the redhead, dude's built like an ox. Well, thanks, buddy. Can't say I hold the hand at Cattle either. No way you can fish you those days are police officers. They're good looking gals, though. Again! She's 14, buddy. Like, even with my assumption that they hit adulthood earlier on, she's 14. She doesn't count. Special sports section, a division that was just established. Yeah. <gasps> you were about her failure. You were a pathetic opening act, one of the guild's dramatic rescue. Mm -hmm. Some teasing poor guys. Wazi Hemisphere. Mm -hmm. The image of a leader far more than I do. Shiny ball head of yours is the perfect thing to rally troops around. Mm -hmm. Wild Wales, leader of the Saber Vipers. Bannings. Uh, don't escalate things, please. <laughs> What's so funny? You, know who you are? You can plan on de escalating the situation? What kind of damn ass train of thought is that? Uh, plan on having the ultimate showdown once we're ready. It ain't gonna be the child's play you just saw. We'll stop until one side is nothing but corpses. That's <laughs> mm. down right away. Keep running your mouth while you still can. Time for all boys. Yeah.
Well, that didn't go well. Mm. Uh, we saw this place will be awards in the next few days. Things will get real bloody, I can tell. Well, it's beyond the scope of our mission, correct? Mm, I disagree. Like I said, I don't think we can truly call our mission complete just yet. And the police will never regain the citizen's trust. Stop them from fighting. All right. Uh, we're gonna handle it ourselves. So we're gonna send a request to headquarters. We should take care of this ourselves. You might offer increased patrols in the area. I doubt it. These guys were causing a scene in broad daylight. They knew the police wouldn't show up to stop them. The cameras intentionally abandoned the downtown district. Patrols in this area have drastically decreased as of late. It seems the person budget related. Police can head on, beat their asses, and make sure they don't step out of line. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Hold on a second. Why do they even want to wipe each other out in the first place? Uh, I'm not sure. They're just a bunch of hooligans trying to take control of some territory. Mm, I don't think that's the case. So they wouldn't need to completely wipe each other out. We're just a bag of delinquents. Why is it necessary for them to go to such lengths? Hot mm. damn, man. Good deduction. <gasps> Can I say something strange? You truly earned those detective qualifications of yours. It doesn't seem like the leaders hate each other's guts all that much. Mm. Some underlying reason? What could it be? Alright. Gotta visit them. Well, let's, uh. Let's go chat with. Let's head down to Trinity. A billiard table? A billiards club? Yeah, it doesn't seem like a bad place. It's to possess a legitimate business purpose. Uh, per permit. Purpose. Hey, guys. Those police dogs. Seems to open, so I figured we'd come by and have a friendly chat. You're literally a business. Let's open to the public. But if I will continue where we left off at, so the things worse for all. Stop. Mm -hmm. Abbas! Cease your pretty arguments. What are your orders, Wazi? Was hanging out, having underage drinking. Ceremony. Hey, Wazi. Mm -hmm. I need a bunch of dogs. Doesn't mean the opposite holds true. If you could please cooperate with us in our investigation. Bother by our little scuffles, we'll have to deal with it until it's all over. Yeah, we just want to know what's going on. Why are you trying to wipe each other out? Mm. Um, there's more to the story than meets the eye. Can I share the details? Could you possibly hope to accomplish? If you're braces, that'd be one thing. But what are the police going to do? Ruffians like us. Ultimate! The police have been negligent when it comes to the downtown district. Yet you're not wrong. Any of these doesn't necessarily mean you'll be able to help out. We're not braces. We don't prioritize the safety of civilians like they do. Wait a minute, Lord. What's the one that's talking then? Do you think I'd be provide you information with nothing in return? So I'm talking about the concept of give and take. Ooh. Shine light on the secrets that lie deep in the shadows of society. Oh, Lord. That's quite the speech you're carrying with, buddy. Hard on doing the slightest bit of that darkness, no less doubt. Then we can help relieve you of that shadow looming over you. We'll cover the truth, no matter what. 
Impressive. He's amused with our little speech. They uh, expect lots of Lloyd speeches. You hear it. Overly dramatic speech of that kind. You're Lloyd, right? I like you. Will you show your reason for wanting to wipe out the Saber Vipers? Will you do it? There's Abbas, member of the Testaments. He's huge. It's ambushed by the Abbas in your by alleyway. If I pull back of his head, beaten up by a group of guys. So better he's sent to the hospital. Still hasn't regained consciousness. Hmm, alright. Why would we? Can't imagine they'd offer any assistance. Cops are clear. Involving the cops would only interfere with our plans to deal with the situation ourselves. How can you claim a certainty that safe survivors are the culprits? Being fair but sharper than our meathead counterparts. <laughs> so what the reason is, Mr. Detective? Well, we're going to go with the wounds of the victim. So they're identified by the type of wound inflicted. Those lose few lacerations. So we go with sharp and blunt in their assault. Nail that! Thank you. This information is very helpful. Mm, yeah, I was thinking you'd come in here to beg us our plans for revenge. I'd, I'd love that. But I don't know if we should come to a conclusion yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to keep up our investigation. If your investigation fails, we'll turn the district into a bloodbath. Smiley face, heart, heart. Alright. Fuller says, you can come to cops. A bad little place. Alright, so now we're learning what's going on. Let's drop a quick save. Alright, now I'm caught up to where I was um, before I had my recording issue. So we should be good. Uh, yeah, we can go a little farther, I think. Switching to Saber Riders' home base. Music very known as Ignis. They do not pay taxes. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna hit talk with your boss, buddy. That means no, get the hell out of here. For a drink, he's a cute, bright eyed kid. Hmm. Hello there, can I ask what your name is? Yeah, me? I'm Dino. What's it to you? What a tough sounding name. It seems you were put in charge of keeping watch for anyone suspicious, right? That's right. First send me the job. Can't of those testament jerks breaking in here. I definitely wasn't forced into this post by the other members. It's a very important job. But we aren't members of the testaments. There shouldn't be any problem for you to let us in, correct? I swear to you, if I let you in. You say funny, but a little scuffle like this is the same saying hello of you saber vipers, right? Besides, your boss doesn't seem to mind it at all. But... But... Everyone trust us then. Ah! 
Piggy doodled on my pistol while we're inside. It's incredibly pressed to me. I hope you'll take good care of it until I return. Fine! Well played, Ellie. Very ballsy. Certainly shocked me. Very impressive. I think we'll have a negotiation like that. Alright. I think that approach would work on something like Wald, though. Mm, better off speaking to him in a similar way as you did with Wazi. Oh! Now this! This is a gang music place. It's too noisy. It's a music venue now. Hmm. This is just something. Looks like the blue bastards told you most of the details already. Gonna arrest us. Nope. We want to hear, uh, we want to investigate, to find out what's going on. The side of the story, we'd like to hear yours. Is it not sufficient to explain their feud? Uh, the truth can be changed depending on who you talk to and what they claim they saw. The actual truth can only be brought to light once everyone's account has been thoroughly cross-examined and scrutinized. Due to one of my duties as a detective. All right. Yeah, don't just take one angle and run with it. Wouldn't make things a hell of a lot easier to just assume we're the baddies. See if I do this info you're so desperate to get. What's in for me? Sometimes just learn the truth. And hell no, I won't. That guy lives off the wreck and stuff, causing uproars. Alright. Big old fight. Little brawl, my gang versus yours. Keep your eyes and you'll get all the info you need. I'm gonna fight you, Wald. Meaningless fights. Aw, oh, why are you being such a killjoy? Just leave the two ladies here. I don't like that implication, Wald. Also, 14. I want to remind him of that. You're pushing your luck. I don't know about it. It's kind of scummy. Yeah? Thank you! Thank you, uh, gang hoodlums! What's the big deal? Just leave with us for a couple hours while the two of you go on a little walk. Do it, I'll tell you everything. Sound good? Uh, we're gonna go with no. I have a better idea. Me and you, Wald. Should be any problem if we call it a friendly scrimmage. If I win, you tell me everything. Is that good enough? Is that a good idea? A reckler, I must say. Sam says, but you, you're like a twig compared to me. I'm still a detective. I've been through plenty of training. I don't intend to lose some two-bit street delinquent like you. Ooh, yes! I think a, a, an insult is, a, is the right move here, Lord. See? He appreciates it. I don't think there'd be another guy stupid enough to challenge me to a fight. Okay then, kid. Wild Wales, the Demon Smasher, leader of the Saber Vipers. Ooh, that's an interesting name. Accept your challenge. Alright, let's do this, buddy. Well, first things first. Tell me your secrets. Human strength throws in a great physique. Thousand health? That's not too bad.
Yeah, I can take that. Thought I'd do more. Oh, um. Peed and faint. Take a charge! Ah, uh, almost. There we go. I won. Not bad at all. You don't talk after all. It's because you got it so hard like that. But are you okay? You'll pay for that. Shut up, you dumbasses. Is this guy even human? Not bad for a warm up. Second, I consider going all out, but my shut up that pretty boy is almost here. So I'll let you off the hook this time. Alright, now it's your turn to tell me what's going on. The best to jump one of my boys five nights ago. It's just like. It's just the same way. Of course, that was just something they pulled out of their asses. As Sarah would like to throw down, but we fight like men. We'd bitch out and jump somebody in the dark. How about it, was your guy hurt? You passed out right after pumping began. Gun, yeah? Do you not even see the attackers? Uh, guess not. Definitely them. You sniper one of their rocks. Hmm. Was asked, the couch took the chance to rush in and beat him down. Passed out. Pretty boy and every one of those little blue bastards. I'm sure your statement will be key in this in this case. Alright. Spring of blood around these parts, alright. Hey, lady, how long you plan to stick around the downtown district? Get cozy here. Deal with all the thugs just waiting to pounce. What a heavy-handed statement! Mm, yeah, that's not cool, buddy. Especially since there's really only two gangs. So we gotta kinda wonder, which of the two of you are gonna be the ones to jump them? Not cool. Not cool. Mm -hmm. That what Walt says. Alright. Mm -hmm. Insulted? Perhaps they were being untruthful? Hmm, but on second thought, none of them seem to be lying. Mm -hmm. No, that's not it. I'm thinking! And he was going easy on me. Something doesn't add up. So at the same time, but in different locations. So simultaneously. So many people involved, how likely would it be for them to be oblivious to each other's movements? There are pros at covert ops. 
Form of bash and then retaliate in kind. Taking precautionary measures to avoid facing retaliation. That's true. Yeah. They're taking by a surprise. Yes. It feels like there's an outside person getting involved in this. Oh. Grace! Our friendly local reporter. Hello, everyone. We meet again. Cha ching I just grabbed myself a money shot. Um, this is an infringement on our right to privacy. Interesting! Um... I mean, obviously, different places have different laws about that sort of thing. But I guess we're learning a little bit of the uh, law system here in Cross Bell. That people, apparently, have the right to privacy, which includes whether or not their photos are taken. Mm. Feature in my next article. You should take any publicity you can get. Even the bad publicity! Guess you'd be hit for readers. Guess you managed to land yourself neck deep in yet another juicy scoop. Help me out with my little, my next story. Ooh, and a free meal. Wow. I don't know the civilian, let alone someone working for the media. Ah, oh, don't worry about the details. Ooh, truly delicious Eastern cuisine. And the critical piece of the puzzle. Ooh. That's a tasty dessert indeed. Bingo! The old give and take. Long loud tavern in East. Alright. Hi there first. And to go by my lonesome until you arrive. I've introduced myself yet. Have I? I'm Grace Lynn, a reporter of the Crossbow Times. Miss Grace, if you'd like. Careful what we say in front of her. Yep. She's ready to strike the moment you let your guard down. Alright. And here's where we're going to take our break, I think. Thank you for watching, of course. What do you think? Do you think uh, the gangs are behind it, or there's something more? Obviously, I think there's something more going on. And I think the game has made it pretty clear there's something more going on. What do you think of these two groups? They're going to be showing up a lot throughout this, I believe. They have some big roles to play. But for now, now we're going to take a break. <laughs>